Hey what's going on guys, it's UIT here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.15. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be covering crops and how you can go ahead and make a crop. Um, so this has actually taken me quite a while to to get working, I've had a lot of issues with the Jasons, I don't know why, um, but I have managed to get sorted now. Um, but all the issues I was having were extremely simple, just me messing up names, but it's just taken a while for me to actually figure out. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with it. So the first thing you need to go ahead and do is register the crop block. So in our block init we can just create a public static final registry object. Oh, Eclipse is having a few issues with content assist at the moment uh, of the block and we can just go ahead and call that um, our crop name so I'm just going to call that example underscore crop and that's going to be equal to blocks dot register first is the name so example underscore crop and then the actual supplier so a new example crop and that's just going to take in block dot properties so basically the properties um, I'm going to do it from blocks dot wheat and then I don't have to go ahead and do any of those properties myself obviously we have an error right there because we haven't created that class but we can go ahead and do that in a second but next we need to go ahead and create the item um, because we're not going to be using the normal block item for this um, so we need to go into our item bit and register it manually so below here I'm just going to create a public static final registry object of item and I'm going to call this seed underscore item, which I know is a really boring, bad name, but oh well. And that's going to be equal to items dot register. And I'm just going to call it seed underscore item. As you can see, I'm not feeling very creative. <laughs> um, and then the supplier, which is just a new block item. Because we still want it to be to be able to place the block and the block is block in it dot uh, no block in it new isn't it block in it new dot example crop dot get um, by the way I will be switching all of my registry object uh, no all of my object holders over to deferred registry soon um, I will have it commented in the item in it and block in it but it won't actually be registered that way because um, it's bad to have both of them um, and then we can just do the properties so a new item dot properties dot uh, group and then that would be our tutorial item group dot instance just like that okay um, now we need to make sure the normal um, block item isn't registered for this and for that we can go into our main class and we can do a filter so right here um, this is where we are automatically registering them um, after the dot stream we can add a filter to the stream uh, and that will filter off anything that we don't want to be registered automatically so what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to do um, block um, and then dash arrow um, exclamation mark so not and then we can do this in brackets block dot get so it's the block and not the registry object oh not get no no why is it going uppercase okay there we go block dot get so if the block dot get is not an instance of our example crop then it's going to filter it out and that will mean it's not registered automatically and you can do this multiple times so after this you can do another dot filter um, 
for example. Um, so yeah, this is basically just a boolean, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh no, it's not, it's a predicate, not a boolean. Um, it's basically a boolean, but it's a predicate. Um, yeah, so that's that's that will make it so that's all not automatically registered, meaning we do have this registered instead. And finally, um, we need to go ahead and create this example crop class, um, which is super super simple. So create a new class, call it example crop. I'm just going to extend crop block to get all of the crops, uh, the default crop functionality. Okay. In here, we can just go ahead and create the constructor. Um, we'll let it get the default one actually to save us some time. Make that public. Remove that comment. Okay. And then we have a few methods we need to go ahead and override. So the first one is just get seeds item. Um, and this is going to return your seed item. So for me that is return item in it dot uh, item in it new dot seed item dot get. Okay, and then we have the get shape, so we can go ahead and do that bounding box. Um, so for this, we actually need to do um, shapes, so we return shapes, um, and then in square brackets, we do state dot get, uh, just dot get that one, uh, this dot get age property. Now what we can go ahead and do is go in the crops block class and we can copy this shape by age. So let's just go ahead and copy that in. And that is basically the voxel shapes that we need. And then just put that in like that. And there you go, that is automatically now done for us. Now that is all of the code we just need to go ahead and import that class in here there we go and in our main class as well of course there we go and now we can go ahead and do the JSONs now I have already done all of the JSONs because um, they're a pain they really are um, but I will show you what I have done so if we go into the block state we have the age property and we are associating that with the different block model that goes with it. So as you can see age 0 um, is our example crop 0 and then etc etc. So that's the block state um, and then you just do the lang so uh, if I can find it we have um, so basically the lang is slightly different um, so you want to make your example underscore crop, you want to call that example, wait no you don't want to call that example seeds, that's wrong. Um, no, that is right, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it, it's a bit confusing. Um, yeah, so you want to call your block example seeds, um, and that will that will make that work and then your seed that is your seed item basically um, and then if you go into the block models you obviously need one for each age so there's quite a lot as you can see um, yeah there's a lot if you just go in here it, it just parents off of block uh, slash crop and then the texture is the crop texture and it's stage zero for that one and then it's stage one and stage two, uh, you get the point. And then obviously you need to do the item model, which it doesn't look like I've actually done. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that real quick. So we can just copy our def item. Uh, just give it a second. Okay, I'm on. Eclipse is being a bit slow recently. I think it's because I'm slowly getting more and more mods 
on this one workspace and it can't really handle it. Um, wait, no, it's not. Is it seed item? Yeah, seed item. And that will just parent. Well, that will just take the seed underscore item. Uh, I don't have a texture for that and I can't be bothered to make one right now. Um, but obviously, if you want to have a texture, which I'm sure you do because why wouldn't you? Um, then you can go ahead and just add that in your items. Um, but for the block textures, um, as you can see, there's all the different stages. Um, I'm just using the same crop texture that I did for my 1.12 tutorials. So obviously, it's not going to be a 1.14 looking texture. Um, but that's, that's fine really, isn't it? Um, oh, one thing I did forget, actually about the code is in the client event bus we're going to want to make it a cutout otherwise it's not going to have the correct transparency options so uh, render type wait what is it render type lookup render type lookup dot set render type set render layer I mean block is just blocking it uh, blocking it new example crop dot get and then render type dot get cutout um, if it doesn't show get cutout you need to make sure you update your mappings um, I have a video on that uh, so you can just watch that um, and then that will work that just means that it has transparency basically and so that is it so now I'm going to oh no that's not it um loot tables so this is the ping thing which has been an absolute pain for me um so it's very long um all of this is in my github just so you know um it was actually in my github way before i recorded this video um so i'm sure a lot of people have already seen it anyways uh, but this is the json you need um so you need to replace this block with uh, the block that gets um, the drops applied to and you replace that here as well and then you replace this name here with the seed you replace this one with the seed and this one with the actual item that you want to drop as the crop um, so like uh, wheat would be that one and then this one would be wheat seeds and then this one would be the wheat block um, so it's quite confusing, um, it's not something that you're really expected to understand, I wouldn't say. You're rarely going to create loot tables quite this complicated, so um, I wouldn't really worry about it that much anyways. Um, just You just need to have it in there really, um, and then it should be fine. So now if we go ahead and run the client, um, we can go ahead and see it all in the game. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I am now in the game. Um, I've created this crop field right here. Um, so if we go into our creative tab and we grab our seeds, we can go ahead and place it down. As you can see, there it is. And I have the tick speed set to 50, so it should grow. Um, I suppose I'll just place a lot down to show you that there you go it's starting to grow as you can see uh, there we go we've got loads of seeds and they are growing um, it might be worth just setting the tick speed a bit higher because that's taking a while so maybe like a hundred should grow a bit faster yep there you go and when it has completed I will show you uh, what it does uh, it's very interesting because of the item I set the crop to um, but you will see it's definitely taking a while let's bone meal it and I'll show you that bone meal works then um, bone meal where's bone meal man I still don't know these these new 
uh, creative stuff. Did I just totally miss it? I think I must have done. Yeah, I did. What a surprise. If I bone meal it, there we go. It goes to full. And bone meal all of them. Obviously, you can, if you want, set your crop up to uh, when you right click it, it will automatically uh, harvest it and replace it back down. Uh, you can set that up if you want. Um, that's not something I am going to cover in a tutorial because that's something you should know how to do with just Java knowledge and, well, basically this tutorial. Um, with those two combined, you should you should know how to do that. So that's definitely not something I will be covering, but I think that'd be pretty cool if you did that. Um, I don't know why I'm by milling these all. Let's break them. Um, so let's clear. Okay, as you can see, when I break one, um, it drops the seeds which are down there, and it drops our def item. Uh, and the reason it set those blocks there is just because we made our def item do that. Uh, as you can see, we made it set blocks below it. So um, all of them are going to do that. If you see right here, they're all going to set blocks, which is a bit laggy. <laughs> um, it's interesting as well. Very, very interesting. Um, we have loads of seeds. <laughs> I honestly think there's a bit few too many I don't know why there would be too many um, but like that's a lot of seeds just from that um, I don't know if that's too many I, don't know. I very rarely break many crops at once so not sure but um yeah that's that's it for this tutorial uh, if you guys did enjoy uh, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe uh, if you really enjoyed it, please do be sure to share it. And actually, one thing uh, I would just like to mention is I was intending to do a structure tutorial. However, there is one issue with structures in 1.15, and that is basically they will get they will get cut off by chunk borders. So it will just totally delete the structure that is, uh, or the part of the structure that is on the other side of a chunk border. Um, obviously this is a major issue. Um, it basically makes structures bigger than a chunk useless. Um, like completely and utterly useless. And in fact you even see it with vanilla structures. So for example the Woodland Mansion is a good example of this. Um, you will find it most commonly there. Obviously, it does take a while to find a woodland mansion. Uh, it doesn't happen every time in vanilla structures, it, um, but in modded structures, it happens every time it's on a chunk border. So this is a massive issue, um, and I'm not entirely sure at the moment whether to record that with it broken or wait however long it could be. It could be ages. Um, for it to be fixed by forge because it's a forge bug um, Not sure which one to take at the moment, but I did do a poll on my discord server and It has gone positive for uh, me doing this tutorial anyways So I will probably be doing that but if it doesn't happen um, you probably do know why um, and hopefully you guys understand my decision on that because the structure is useless if it gets cut off in my opinion but um yeah so I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video which might be structures might be enchantments we'll, we'll see so yeah see you guys then goodbye